when you think about moving on in life moving forward in life sometimes it's very difficult to move on in life extremely difficult i have seen people living in the past so stuck in past that they are unable to see the future they are unable to see who they are disappointments can really dislocate us emotionally mentally physically spiritually it's like this suppose you are planning for a great outing with your family and you're excited you choose the dress and you you plan everything what to wear or how to go where to go where to dine and you you got ready to and then suddenly something happened that they just cancelled the outing for suppose you're a teenager it will be extremely difficult for you to handle that disappointment you expected that you will be going out today and all of a sudden the plans just drop and it's it's not easy to handle that disappointments are not easy to handle imagine one of the disappointments that you face that you literally i know for sure that we go into a place where we can't do anything like you know we don't feel like doing anything we just become so drained and we you know so if disappointment such you know a, a, a small disappointment can cause us not to move forward imagine the real disappointment that life brings in maybe maybe you're not able to move forward because of a past relationship some kind of a disappointment that is holding you back a past sin that is eating you up but always remember that god has a plan for you and always the plan for of the lord is not in the past the plan of the lord for you is in the future as in the book of jeremiah it says the plan for you is to prosper you and and to give you a bright future so how can we really come into a place where we can say that the old is gone the new has come how can you go forward in life how can you literally you want to move forward you are unable to move forward you're not able to share your deep things with anyone because no one ex- understands or maybe people think that you are always cribbing or always crying so you don't want to share because you know it's the same story again and again it's like a playlist that is put on loop it's repeating it's just repeating and not repeating in your mind repeating in your mind repeating in your mind you're unable to move to a different playlist you're unable to move on in life the melody is the same there is no new melody there is no new song in your life there is no new joy in your life you've become like like a, like a like a robot there's nothing that you're doing different anymore there's no life in you how can you walk with extra baggages imagine you are uh, you know you have tied big chains on your legs and you're dragging huge iron you know logs and you're you can't walk with such baggage you will not be able to walk you will not be able to how will you run if you can't walk you will not even stand your legs are aching Do you believe that God is able? Do you really believe 
that God cares for you? Do you really believe that God can take you out of this sorrow? Do you believe that? Do you believe that God wants you well? Do you really believe that? Do you know that God loves you? If you are listening to me today, you should know that God is trying to reach out to you. You should know that He loves you, He cares for you, He is concerned about you, He wants you well. You know, don't worry. Do you want to move on in life? Do you want to have a beautiful life? Do you want to have the joy that you, you're missing, the smile that you're missing? Are you tired with the crying? Are you tired with the loop that is running in your mind? There's no answer to what you're searching. Why? Why? There's no answer to it until you move forward. Where you are, you will not find the solution. There is answer, but you need to move forward. So, I want to encourage you, as you're listening to me, allow God to minister to you. Allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you. Open your heart. Be on my voice. Listen to the voice of a loving Father who wants you well. In Him is the solution. Trust in Him. Speak to God. Open your heart and tell the Lord, Lord, Help me. I want to move forward. I'm willing to move forward. I need you. Help me. Let Lord Jesus be your motivation. You know, remember in the Garden of Gethsemane, He knew what was coming. He knew that He was going to go to the cross. It was difficult, but he knew that he has to cross that for the salvation of us all. Today, if we know that we have eternal life in heaven, it's because of what Jesus endured on the cross. The separation with his father. It was not easy for him. Come on, you can do it. I want you to move forward. I want you to let go of your past. You're more than your past. You're more than that. Mistakes doesn't define you. Show me one person who hasn't done any mistake. There is none. It's okay, big or small, it's okay, because God is able to forgive you. He knows that we are weak. His grace will enable us to say no to mistakes in the future. Be willing to go ahead, move forward. Be willing to hold his hand. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. I want to read a few scriptures for you. Job 17, 9 The righteous keep moving forward and those with clean hands become stronger and stronger. You 
are righteous because Christ is your righteousness. No human can be righteous according to God's standard. It's when you believe in Jesus that you put on his righteousness because your sins are washed away with the blood of Jesus. You have a clean hand when you say, Lord, forgive me. Lord, I forgive. Philippians 3.14 says, I run straight toward the goal to win the prize that God's heavenly call offers in Christ Jesus. Have a new perspective for your life. You're more than what you're thinking right now. God has created you uniquely. The talents that you have, the giftings that you have, the way you speak, the way you behave, everything has a purpose, has a reason. You're not a mistake. You're so important. Only you can understand some people. Only you can help some people. You are the perfect key for the locks in their life. Proverbs 4.18 The way of the righteous is like the first gleam of dawn, which shines even brighter on the full light of day. Isaiah 43.18 Forget what happened in the past and do not dwell on events from long ago. This is the Bible. This is the Word of God. This is God. Forget. Forget what happened in the past. Do not dwell on events from long ago. Philippians 3.13 Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. Did you hear that? Paul is saying, I'm straining forward to what lies ahead. You know, there is always a transition from Egypt to the Promised Land. But God is able to part the Red Sea for you. God is able to provide you with daily manna from heaven. God is able to make way where there seems to be no way. You can do it. You can. Your past doesn't define you. Romans 8 1 therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus did you hear that therefore there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus if your sins are condemning you if your sins are making you feel guilty if the voices of the enemy if the if the words that someone spoke to you is condemning you, pulling you down, that's not God. Because the Lord clearly said that He has forgiven you. Who can accuse you when He is the one who justifies you? No one can point fingers at you. That doesn't make you arrogant. That doesn't make you proud. That makes you humble and grateful to the love of Jesus. Yes, we made mistakes. Yes, we are moving away from it because His grace is sufficient. Do not live in guilt. Do not live in condemnation. Those voices are not of God's. And the Bible says that my sheep will hear the voice of the Good Shepherd. The voice of the stranger, they will not hear. You will not hear the voice of the enemy. Those voices that pulls you down, 
those voices that, that is constantly accusing you it's not of your god don't believe those voices don't believe it it's a lie you keep listening to a lie it becomes truth for you though it's a lie start listening to the holy spirit tune tune it tune back to the channel of the holy spirit the broadcast of god first john 1 8 to 9 if we say that we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us if we confess our sins he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness what more what more we need who can forgive sins but god second corinthians 5 8 therefore if any man be in christ he is a new creature all things are passed away behold all things are become new this you should understand when you say that jesus is your lord and savior just open your heart and say father god i believe that jesus is the son of god and the only way to god i believe that jesus died on the cross for my sins i believe that by his stripes i am healed i believe that my shame he took on the cross my curses he took on the cross my sins he took on the cross and by the breaking of his body and shedding of his blood my sins are forgiven i'm washed clean with the blood of jesus i am made new i am clean i am white as snow lord accept me as your child i invite you in, in my heart i confess that jesus is my lord and my savior have your way in my life holy spirit spirit of the living god the only spirit that loves me the only god who cares for me the only god who speaks to me lovingly and corrects me lovingly i need you to guide me father i'm yours from now on have your way in my life i am born again today my name is written in the lamb's book of life see this is a simple prayer that you just need to open your heart and pray when you do so you know when someone does it with their whole heart something happens this is what the scripture says therefore if any man be in christ he is a new creature all things are passed away behold all things are become new you become a new creature why because you became the citizen of heaven Romans 8:28 We know that all things work together for the good of those who love God those who are called according to his purpose All things work for good God is able to turn curses to blessing God is able Proverbs 3:5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart do not lean on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him He will make straight your paths. Trust in him. Psalm 33:18. But the Lord watches over those who fear him, those who rely on his unfailing love. Psalm 32:8. I will instruct you and show you the way to go. With my eye on you, I will give counsel. Counsel seek the wisdom and guidance from god he will instruct you proverbs 24:14 in the same way wisdom is sweet to your soul 
If you find it, you will have a bright future and your hopes will not be cut short. Beautiful. Wisdom is the principal thing. Ask God for godly wisdom. It begins with the fear of the Lord. When you reverence, when you have the reverence for the Lord, when you know that He is a God who will not leave you, when you know that He is a God who loves you unconditionally, when you don't doubt His love, when you know that no matter what, He is not the one who is condemning you, accusing you. Jesus clearly said in John 5 that I am not the one who accuses you. I will never accuse you. I am here to justify you. Isaiah 58:11. The Lord will guide you continually, giving you water when you are dry and restoring your strength. You will be like a well-watered garden, like an ever-flowing spring. Psalm 1, 2 and 3 Instead, he finds pleasure in obeying the Lord's commands. He meditates on his commands day and night. He is like a tree planted by flowing streams. It yields its fruit at the proper time and it, its leaves never fall off. He succeeds in everything he attempts. It's so important to move forward. It's so important that you should start listening to the right broadcast how to begin it how to start that is listen to the word of god read the word of god sometimes it's difficult even to open the bible you don't feel like so put on the audio bible who is stopping you from that play audio bible just literally play audio bible 24 by 7 at oh, let it play let it play when you're working, when you're doing something in your car, when you're walking, play audio Bible. And I'm assuring you, you will see change within three days. The next day you'll start seeing changes in your life. But don't, do not stop. Because when you start feeling good, you may start ignoring the word of God. Don't do that. Do it continually for at least 21 days till you know that you have realigned, you have moved forward and you're standing in solid ground. Psalm 119, 104-105 I obtain understanding from your precepts. Therefore, I hate every false way. Your word is a lamp for my feet a light for my path it's so important to listen to the word of god proverbs 6 23 for this command is a lamb this teaching is a light and correction and instruction are the way of life so stop worrying because Matthew 6.27 says, Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? No. Stop worrying. Exodus 14, 14 and 15. The Lord will fight for you and you can be still. The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. You have to move on because God will fight for you. Psalm 23, 4 Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your road and your staff, they comfort me. Psalm 23, beautiful scripture. Psalm 23 is a beautiful scripture indeed. It talks about the valley of shadow of death. It's not death. You might feel that you are almost literally in the verge of dying. It's just a shadow of death. It's not there. You're not there. You will not fear. Beloved, I urge you 
come on don't be disappointed don't lose hope move forward first john 5:14 and this this is the confidence that we have toward him that if we ask anything according to his will he hears us god is there god is with you god is in you he hears you he answers you proverbs 17:22 a joyful heart is good medicine but a crushed spirit dries up the bones be joyful it's a choice Philippians 4:8 Finally brothers and sisters whatever is true whatever is worthy of respect whatever is just whatever is pure whatever is lovely whatever is commendable if something is excellent or praiseworthy think about these things So today I'm encouraging you take one day at a time start changing that playlist come out of that loop force yourself to think whatever is true the word of god is the absolute truth he says that you are beautifully and wonderfully made he says that he loves you he says that even if you were the only person on earth Jesus would have still died on the cross for you. He says he never leaves you, he never forsakes you. He says that nothing can separate you from his love. He says that he will even come to the depths of hell if you decide to go and place your bed there. He will not leave you. He wants you, he loves you, he cares for you. Trust in God. God bless you.